Hey guys, it's Wednesday the 22nd of April. Today it's been a pretty crappy day outside, so tonight is on the trainer. It'd be interesting to see how I go this winter on the trainer because last winter I did a lot of win of indoor trainer sessions. Um, so back on Zwift, back on the trainer. Um, tonight will just be a cruisy spin just around the, the circuit. I'm not going to do it like an actual training plan tonight. Um, but I'm going to decide on which training plan I want to follow during winter and then basically go through it every single day because this winter looks like it's going to be a wet one. So this is the normal setup. I've got my MacBook Pro there running Zwift, water bottle, separate monitor. Normally I've got Zwift on the monitor but tonight needs some entertainment so I've got YouTube, good fan, CAD 10 Black Ink. One thing I love about Zwift is that you can be doing something like this inside but it's riding with your mates as well and you can hurt yourself or you can go as easy as you want which is great for indoor training. One thing I've noticed straight away jumping from my Bianchi to my CAD, I've got different setups. So I've got a different handlebar width, different handlebars, different tape, Bianchi has SRAM red. The cat has Ultegra, so the shifters feel really different. Apart from that, the setup's exactly the same, but just getting used to like, the narrowness of the bars, it's, it's really odd. Because I'm used to riding the one bike, and then I got used to, then I built up the Bianchi, and now I've only ridden the Bianchi pretty much full time for three weeks, and now I'm jumping back on the CAD, and it's like, whoa, what's going on? Might need some new bars. Two centimeters narrow, more narrow, but Still, I might need some, might need to get them the same or change the shifters over, I'm not too sure. <laughs> in another great youtuber to watch Gary V good stuff 37 K's an hour done 10 10 and a half K's in 23 minutes so yeah not bad yeah. So what's the plan for this winter? Work on a couple of things. One of them is probably my FTP. I need to work on a fair bit. Uh, I want to get that up. It's currently at 326, but that was four weeks ago when I was racing crits every week. So it's a, probably around 300 at the moment. So I want to test my FTP and I want to improve it to somewhere around the 360, 370 watt mark. I'm currently sitting at 89 kilos. So that would be, well, it's a, that would probably be about 3.8 watts per kilo or four watts per kilo which would be awesome for, for me to get. I want to work on longevity on the bike as well so getting long slow k's in and just working on endurance basically because I can hold a high pace for you know 50 60 k's but I can't translate that into about 90 or 100, 100 odd k efforts so which would be like a road race so I'd love to be able to do some road races this time next year. Um, I'd love to be able to do events like Giro della Donna and Amy's Grand Fondo as well. So probably work on some climbing. Look, I'll see this winter. They're really my main two things or three things I'd like to work on is my FTP, longevity on the bike, and well, longevity endurance, and then actual climbing. Um, being a bigger bloke, I've always been good at flats and sprinting, but I'd love to become a good climber or you know, hold my own on climbs. So I'd love that, I think. Tomorrow will be an interesting one because it's supposed to be sunny. So I'll get out on the bike tomorrow, probably tomorrow afternoon sometime. So until then, I'll see you riding tomorrow. <laughs>